uh, Alex Jones. By Alex Jones, yeah, that was him. And uh, speaking of uh, weird, perverted uh, men out there, Daniel, I'm not sure if you had heard these weird allegations of uh, another figure, and I think we might have talked about it once before. Um, do you recall when we talked about ICP the last time you were here? Oh, that's weird that you bring that up because I was literally just watching an ICP video before we got on air. Oh my God. You know, I, I've been doing uh, some deep dives here and there's a lot of uh, strange allegations about those boys, especially, especially that Violent J character. You know, he's following all kinds of underage girls on Instagram. It's sick. Wasn't he like getting serious with one of them or something like that? I have no idea what he is up to. I just know he follows like a shitload of like little girls that are like 13 and 12 years old and he's following them on Instagram. And you know, he's one of these celebrities that go and like read every message, every this, every that. It's fucking sick. And uh, yes, he's a sick, fat piece of shit, in my opinion, just a gross human being. And uh, yeah, his, his, uh, his fan base is no different. You know, they're all a bunch of pedophiles out there from what I've seen. <laughs> But yeah, he's a sick fuck. I'm telling you, this guy is following little kids on Instagram. And, you know, he's messaging them. He's doing all this weird shit. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Especially if you're like a celebrity, yet yet you have no shame and in, in like following little kids. It's, it's really crazy, Daniel. We live in a really weird world. I, I can't believe it, but there's a lot of these uh, sort of things going on. And if I remember correctly... It's like, oh, yeah, we, we, we saw all the signs a long time ago when they were on Loveline with Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew way back in the day. You know, we saw all the signs. They even openly admitted it, well, at least Vine and Jay did, in terms what? of his minor sort of uh, attraction to uh, underage kids. It's all true. He said that? I have the audio. Oh, are you able to play that, or is that going to cause problems? Oh, no, not at all. I'm going to play that audio for you right now, but I'm going to look for a photograph of ICP just to remind the listeners of uh, these disgusting human beings that plague the earth. I mean, they're some of the most foul-looking characters I've ever seen, and uh, we haven't even talked about their wrestling uh, cred, by the way. Oh, yeah, when they were selling tapes with Mick Foley in them and <laughs> he confronted them about it. Ride and Vine J, you know, he's out there wrestling right now. I think he's still out there wrestling in like Japan or something. He almost like messed up his neck the last thing I heard. The last time I heard from those uh, weird pieces of the shit. But yeah, this is them. This is ICP right here just to remind you folks. The Clowns. Juggalo love. Are you down with the clowns? Down with the clowns. Yeah, that is probably the most pathetic group of men and women that I've ever seen in my life, by the way. Their fan base is just disgusting. Probably the stupidest fan base there is. It was funny when, they're, when the, um, the Juggalos were actually listed as a legitimate gang by the fbi that's right I, I remember that for a while not anymore though i think that has been sort of cleared up i think they realize these are just a couple of uh i don't even want to say the word i can't even say that word by the way i was always an eminem guy i wasn't ever on the icp side <laughs> an eminem guy I like that. marshall you're down with marshall that's funny. I remember uh, Necro, the the rapper, when we when we talked to him, he was like, oh, "You wouldn't call you wouldn't call Eminem Marshall," and I'm like, "Yeah, I would actually," because I called uh, you know I called Necro by his real name, and he didn't like that. <laughs> I thought, "Bitch, I'm calling you by your fucking government name." Like I'm scared. Yeah, of you. I remember. Uh, Give me a break. Howard Stern had them in there and they were like singing the Eminem diss song and I think that kind of uh, made Eminem hate Howard Stern. I believe so. Yeah. I will say their appearances on the Howard Stern show were always pretty lively and pretty funny. 
I was watching the one where I'll be honest. They're in studio yeah. and Richard and Sal are drawing clown makeup on each other's dicks. Oh my they god. They both walk yeah. in there with shaggy, two dope and violent J faces <laughs> on the penises. Oh, that's so and good. They get pissed off. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Those were the days. We missed that um Howard. They wanted to beat up Richard and Sal. I think Richard and Sal could probably beat them up. Probably. I think so. But yes, uh, Daniel, let me play that audio for you because it is damning. But they have sort of revealed themselves in these audio clips. I mean, they really meant what they were saying. And it's so yeah, disgusting. Uh, yeah, are you ready for this, Daniel? This is fucking sick, by the way. Here we go. Oh, let me turn the volume up there for you, Daniel. Here we go. Last year, she was living with her father. Hold on a second, Jay, you want to have sex with her? I said, well, yeah. Four? Um, That's it. I put one one in front of that Marie, four. Marie. Yeah. Fourteen, and we can talk. Keep going. Okay. Friends. No, this is serious. Fifteen-year-old girls. There's some fifteen-year-old girls that are fifteen-year-old girls. See what I'm saying? There's other fifteen-year-old girls that are stat banging that look like they're... 19 and, and act like they're 18 you know what i'm saying yeah but, the, but, but in the other countries there's girls that are 15 years old that are married with three kids right and no, that's why other countries suck <laughs> do they are they are they perky or do they sag already at oh, 16 no, they're perky. <laughs> oh they're perky okay they should be until about roughly 25 this is in your mouth Yo, i'm saying in your hands whatever i'm saying you've seen your, your your fair share of penises am i right well not exactly. Have you ever had one waggled in your face? Like, oh, ooh. please, Jay. 15 years of age. I'm trying to get to the bottom line. Is she, she didn't bleed. It's the finger bang. No. It's the masturbation. No. You pop. Uh huh. Wow. I told you. It's I like told you. To he showed that. his hand a long time ago, and that's what they all do. They all reveal themselves. And uh, yeah, this guy is a pedophile, in my opinion. Just so the way like, it's not yeah, a fact. John it's Smith just dated Pocahontas, and she was just fourteen. It's just my opinion. I'm not saying it's a fact, but yeah, what was that? I, I'm saying he's a pedophile. In my opinion, I feel. In my opinion, I feel like he for sure has slept with underage girls uh, a number of times. Well, this is what I think is going on. I think that these guys are such weirdo freaks that the only women that will give them the time of day are probably the girls that go to the gathering of the juggalos absolutely and the only ones that will probably you know perform sexual acts on these guys are probably very naive underage juggalo girls the rats that's what they are they have them in everywhere yeah. every uh facet in business yeah they uh they're sleeping with their underage groupies and i'm telling you there's a lot of allegations against uh, the one on the right here, the really ugly looking one. Well, they're both very ugly, but the one on the right hand side of your screen right there, he's following underage girls, 13, 12. I mean, I saw this myself and I was going to show you that, but I thought, you know what? I'm not going to show you a bunch of uh, little kids on Instagram. I'll leave that for the sick piece of the shit by the name of Violent J to do that for you. Disgusting. But yeah, if you look into his eyes, for sure that looks like someone who has no doubt slept with underage kids. Absolutely. <laughs> He's got those well, dead the, eyes. Another problem is that with this whole like juggalo thing, they kind of have their own little world and it, it can be kind of like this isolated thing where things can go on and it doesn't nearly necessarily reach the outside world. Oh yeah, I think a lot of that happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, the people that become juggalos, typically they are society's rejects, God mm -hmm. bless them, they're people that don't fit in, and they, they're down with the clowns. They're down they with the clowns. They clown. root beer, they go whoop whoop. Wow. The dregs of society, as I like to call them. If there was ever a time I wish there would be a big sort of... You know, Daniel, one of those things that go off, you know, in the Middle East. One of these. Well, like I said, I was an Eminem guy. ICP was the enemy. I could say that 
at least at the time I was uh, on the good side. I wish one of those would go off during one of their gatherings. That'd be nice. It would be nice for one of those to go off. Magically. I went through a phase where I was watching those like hour or two hour long documentaries on YouTube about the gatherings of the juggle. Oh my God. Man, you got some really strange people you that show some... up at those things. It's We're... all a big brotherhood. It's you... like Sturgis yeah. kind of. You got a lot of screwed up people out there for sure. A lot of uh, mental cripples out there. That's for sure. Good Lord. Yeah. And they made a lot of money from uh, playing off of those people. Very much like Kid Rock has made a uh, large number of money playing the whole um, trailer trash gimmick. It was funny how he was calling out Stern for going on AGT. Yeah. Well, it was funny how he went after Bud Light, then changed his tune once they gave him some money. Oh, did he? <laughs> yeah, he's got no spine. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe he was uh, banging uh, Dylan Mulvaney. Yeah, he probably wants to. They're all half Those a fag. Kind of match. What's that? Those two kind of match. They kind of do. Good lord. Like, I could see them being a couple. Yeah, I could see them uh, banging each other in the ass for sure. <laughs> they look like they watch uh, Black Mirror for sure. Yeah, oh they, boy. Yeah, they look like they watch Netflix all the time. <laughs> they, they love Netflix. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. <laughs>